Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this lesson, we will talk about linear inequalities. And you notice I said linear inequality are inequality that contains at least one linear algebraic expression, like this one. All these are examples of linear inequality. To solve an inequality means to graph the equality. That graph which is a line, it's called a boundary, the dividing line. And then you have to find out the set of points that uh, accomplish your inequality. Very important, if you have less or equal, greater or equal, then the boundary line, the dividing line is a full line and the solution set is a closed half plane, how it's called. If you have less than or greater than, then the solution set is an open half plane and the boundary line is a dashed line. You're gonna see that in my next examples. And we're gonna start with the first one, which says solve y greater than one over two x plus one. So, one more time, in order to solve this inequality, you have to graph it. So I'm gonna have here a piece of graph paper and let's graph y equal one over two x plus one. If you notice here, if we use the slope intercept form, the slope will be one half and the y intercept will be one which also can be written in this form as an order per zero one. So this is the y-intercept, that's the thing you wanna start with. Then the slope of one over two, that means rise is one, run it's two. So I'm gonna go one up, two right, and I have the second point which will allow me to draw the equality. Now, whenever, if, if, it's, if you uh, don't have a ruler, Probably you want to follow this pattern in this case, the slope, so we get more points. Okay, and now we're going to draw the line. Be careful you draw a dashed line in this case. Why a dashed line? Because we have greater than. Whenever you have greater or less, your graph should be a dash line, like in this case. And now you need to find the solution set, the set of points that accomplish this solution. And you notice we have two half planes, how we call them, the top and the bottom. One of these is the solution. How do we get a solution? We have to do what is called a test point. And that is one way, by the way, in this case. And the test point, most of the time, that you can use 0 and 0, which means x is 0, y is 0. When you cannot use 0 and 0, when that point is on your boundary, on your graph, don't use it because you cannot get what you need. So in this case, we have x equals 0, y equals 0. So we're going to plug back in here and we have 0 greater than 1 half times 0 plus 1. We want to check if this statement is true or false. So let's see what we get. The left side stay as zero. The right side, one half times zero is zero plus one. And we end up with zero greater than one, which is a false statement. So what does it mean for us? We're going to look and locate zero and zero, which obviously is this guy, the origin. And we have this false statement that means we're going to switch the side. You, see, you notice this uh, test point 0 and 0 is here on the bottom of the line, the dividing line. You're going to go on the other side and shade it. This is the solution set. By shading, you say this is the solution set. And you can check any point from here. Take it, uh, for example, like this one for you. Let's say this one, negative 2 and 3 x is negative 2, y is 3. Plug it back in, do like I did for the test point. You'll notice you'll get a true statement. You don't have to do it. One more time, if you get 
falls, just jump on the other side of the boundary and shade it. If you get through, stay there. Let's see another example, very similar with this one, no, the previous one. Uh, however, I'm going to show you, I hope, a shortcut. Y less or equals negative 2 over 3x minus 3. Again, we need graph paper. Uh, we're going to go to where? Negative 3y. This guy here, b is negative 3, which means 0 and negative 3. And then, if you remember, this is the slope, negative 2 over 3. Okay, let me say one more time, rise over run, if you remember. So, we can say negative 2 over 3 or 2 over negative 3. The way will be good. Let's see which one works better for us. I think you, the second one works better because yeah, it tells us we need to move 2 up and 3 left. This is the second point, right? So, we have rise of 2, run of negative 3. Now we notice this is uh, less or equal. We have the equal sign. So we're going to have a full line. Okay. Uh, again, you may want to put a couple more points if you don't have a ruler like I do. And then draw the full line. The boundary is a full line in this case. And again, we have two half planes. The bottom of the line and the top of the line. The shortcut is very simple if you have y less than or y less or equal shade the bottom. You don't really need a test point. Shade the bottom. So like in this case, we're going to shade the bottom. Of course, you can use the test point and check if that is correct. We'll, that, we'll do that in a second. If you have y greater or y greater or equal, shade the top of the line, not the case in this problem. And now let's do the test point very fast. So see if this shortcut work. Test point, 0 and 0. And remember we have 0 less or equals negative 2 over 3 times 0 minus 3. So we have 0 less or equals negative 3, which again is false. Okay, 0 and 0 is right here, is on top of the line. We jump uh, the boundary and shade the other side. So yeah, that is correct. The shortcut works. So remember, this is a very good shortcut if you have y only. If you have something like that, like this example, do not use the shortcut. You have to use a test point. So let's see this one. Solve x minus 2y less than 4. Again, we're going to need some graph paper. How are we going to graph the equality? x minus 2y equal 4. I'm going to use the intercepts here. If you remember, intercept means y intercepts x is 0. So we end up with 0 minus 2y equals 4. That will give us negative 2y equals 4, which gives us, if we divide by negative 2, both sides, right, we get y equals negative 2. So the first intercept is 0 and negative 2, which is uh, right here, right? This is the y intercept. Very similar, we're going to get the x intercept when we're going to make y equals 0. Okay, so we have x minus 2 times 0 equals 4. So then we have just x equals 4, so the intercept is 4 and 0, which is right here. Um, you can notice a pattern here if you, in case you need it. If you do not need it, if you have a ruler, then you don't need it. Again, dash line. Dash line because we don't have the equal sign. Okay, this is the boundary. Okay. Um, and then you need a test point. I'm going to emphasize this. I'm going to change the color. You really need a test point. Do not shade the bottom because you see less than. It might be correct. It might not. Test point. Can you use 0 and 0? Yes. It's not on the boundary line. 
So we're going to take this 0 and 0 and plug it in my original inequality. So you have 0 minus 2 times 0. Is that less than 4? Again, I'm checking uh, the truth value of this statement. Is it true? Is it false? And this one is going to be 0 minus 0 less than 4. End up with 0 less than 4. In this case, this statement is true. Okay, you remember the previous two were false. In this case, we have true. 0 and 0 is right here. It was a true statement, so that means that is the solution set. These points here on this half plane represent the solution set. Again, you need to do a test point in case like this when you have the standard form of an equation. You cannot use the shortcut. Let's take a look to the last two examples. You see, you see here, I put them both so you can see how similar they are and how different they are in fact also. So the first one says solve x greater than 2. Again, I'm going to have a grid and I'm going to have x equals 2, the equality. What is that graph? How does it look? It's right here at 2, a vertical line. And it has to be a dashed line because the inequality says no equal. Okay. So we did it. This is the equality. Now we have to shade the solution set. And well, let's take a look one more time to this statement. This statement says shade all the points for which the x coordinate is greater than 2. Oh, like three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's it. So that means I'm going to shade this side. This is the solution set for the inequality x greater than 2. And the last one, we have y less than 3. Uh, very similar, however different. We're going to graph the equality y equals 3 which is right here uh, again dash line because there is no equal there okay and now i'm going to shade the half plane that shows me all those points for which the y coordinate is less than three these are down here these are the points for which the y coordinate is less than 3. This is the solution set. And that's it. If you enjoy this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.